Mobile salt can create some pretty interesting structures, not only of the salt body itself, but also in the surrounding strata. So let's look at an animation. In this particular state, we have the salt on the sea floor here, and let's imagine that sedimentation occurs right across this salt body before it becomes mobile, creating a layer that will become deformed as the salt moves. So as this blue formation is loaded by sedimentation, let's imagine the salt then is mobilized, and this blue horizon breaks like this. And the deposition will now focus adjacent to the rising salt dome in those two mini basins on the side, the one on the right above a syncline, the one on the left above an apparent fault. So this is an asymmetric system. It could be symmetrical. We'll look at this later on. So as we continue depositing in the mini basins, down building, forcing out the salt from underneath and the salt dome rises. Notice that the strata that was originally continuous across the salt here is being tipped up on end, creating something that is generally referred to as a flap. On the left hand side, there's an apparent fault. It's not really a fault, it's just the edge of the salt body and there's onlap onto the salt by the sedimentation. Sedimentation in the midi basin on the right onlaps the flap which is otherwise protecting the edge of the salt body. And so dam building can continue like this. Notice the flap continues to deform as the salt moves. And the helikinetic sequences can have quite complicated forms as they onlap the flap, they, they can onlap themselves, and they can even continue across the top of the flap break onto the edge of the salt. So a whole variety of pinch outs possible in the helikinetic sequences in the mini basin. Eventually, of course, the salt could flow out on the surface like this, and the flap itself could overturn along with some of the early deposited helikinetic sequences. Well, this is an asymmetric system. We have that pseudo fault on the left and the flap on the right, but actually it could be symmetrical and you could have a system like this, which has got a flap on both sides and this is the end case where the salt has flowed out equally on both sides. In this particular case, we've got two overhanging margins of flaps beneath that salt dome. Of course, this system can now continue and be buried over the top and the whole system could narrow again. So we can get really quite complicated edges to the sides of our rising salt dome, depending on the interplay of lateral salt flow. So different behaviours relate to where the deposition occurs, across the top of the salt body or restricted to the flanks, and on the ability of the salt to flow out laterally or just to keep rising. And that itself will be controlled by where the synkinematic sedimentation occurs, whether it's restricted to the flanks, can occur across the top or indeed is turned off altogether. So a brief glimpse at some of the complexities of strata relationships around mobile salt.